Graphing inverse functions. You should again recall that if f of x equals y, then f inverse of y equals x. Say we have a function f of x equals 2x plus 1. I can graph something like this by plugging in a few values. Negative 1 outputs negative 1, 0 outputs 1, and 1 outputs 3. Say I want to also graph the inverse of this function. Since inverse functions have the inputs and outputs switch places, I can plot the points negative 1, negative 1, 1, 0, and 3, 1. I have graphed the inverse of f of x without finding it algebraically. I may also want to do this with a more complicated function, like g of x equals square root of x plus 1 minus 2. Here, I take the square root function and shift it to the left by 1 and down by 2. Three good points on this graph are negative 1, negative 2, 0, negative 1, and 3, 0. The inverse of each point is negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, 0, and 0, 3. I need to make sure that the ends of the graph are also the same, ending at negative 2, negative 1, and passing through 0, 3. Notice this created half of a parabola. You can now use points on a function to sketch a graph of its inverse. This skill could also be used to graph an inverse portion of a non-one-to-one -one function.